Now, technical. Okay, technical analysis. A lot of people talk about technical analysis. MACD, la, moving average, seasonal analysis, cyclic analysis, candlestick pattern, oscillator, momentum signal. Okay. I'm going to show you this, yeah? Okay, this is from a very famous uh, stock and commodity newsletter that I subscribe to, right? And in here, they have hundreds and hundreds of indicators. Okay, hundreds and hundreds of layout. Okay, I'm just going to show you here. Okay, each of them will claim to be equally good. Okay, histogram, RSI, Fibonacci, Williams percentage, check-in oscillator, Orun, ATR, CCI, PVO. The only thing missing is you. So I'll tell you, this indicator work one, show work one. So if you cannot confirm, ask your mother. Your mother will confirm with you, is it? Hey, remember this? Paul the octopus? Yeah? Paul the octopus? Now, there were even plans that Goldman Sachs is going to hire him as a proprietary trader. Why? Because if Goldman Sachs is going to hire him, what are those people who graduate from Howard and MBA? What are they? Right? Because, like it or not, no one can predict the future. Right? Maybe past life, Octo Paul Octopus was a tooth slayer or, or something, we don't know, yeah? So, now, are you telling the truth, okay? No lies, I'm not telling any lies. So why is that we look at volume spread analysis or price and volume? Volume spread analysis, we want to look at the why and the when. We want to see when is insider buying and why are they doing it. You've got to look at the motive behind it. When the price is going all the way up, newspaper is all happy, buy, 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 buy. What happens? Bye bye. Yeah? So the truth is in the price chart. Now, now once you look at the picture up there, alright? If there is no win, okay? If there is no win, what would you see that? If there's no win, what would you see? The more movement, right, means there are nobody interested. So the volume is actually a sign of activity. So we want to see volume coming in because they tell us the consensus are the professional. Professional will only move when there is volume. Because professional, do they buy 1,000, 2,000 unit? No, right, they have to buy what? Lock, stock and barrel, isn't it? So they have to move with the volume. So the first evidence is the volume. Now, then you look at this. This is the uh, volume here. You see the high volume, they push us up. This was where the volume is presence, the professional presence, and this is a spread. Spread is calculated from the high minus the low. Whenever you see high spread or low spread with volume, pay notice. Now, I actually use a, uh, a tool called Trade Guider, a VSA charting, which actually tells me the insider activities. Okay, and you see patterns like this. It tells me it's an uptrust, a classic tick by professional operators to make price raise upwards. So it actually tells me where I should be doing, what I should be doing. It tells me the market structure. It helps me to see it. Wouldn't a tool like you would be, be great to tell you that? So we professionals use tool. We just don't aga aga look at all the PE ratio. And by the time the guy was trying to tell you, he said you need, probably need a degree, you know, to look at the PE. PE. <laughs> now don't we use uh, a tool like the VSA stand for volume spread analysis to help us. Now, you heard of this company called Transmar, right? 2000, 2008. Now you can see this was an uptrust. When you see uptrust, we know that is a sign of weakness and you have reducing volume. And then finally, you have a big bar coming down in here. And this is a very sad story. One of my friend who is very close to Transmar, a supplier, he bought Transmar, 50,000 worth of Transmar at $11.50. Uh, and then when he went down to uh, $9, he bought another 50,000 of Transmar. Finally, he called me when Transform went down to $3. You know what I told him? Warren Buffett long term say, uh, all stock price will always go higher, hold it lah. <laughs> now, last call was $0.45. Cents, no? So he just lost all his money. Very sad. That was his first Wednesday.